If you want many audios now available on YouTube, you can support my Patreon page. Link in the video description. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Hello? Snap out of it. That is the third time you have spaced out during our study session. Is everything all right? You are nervous about approaching the birthday party. Why is that? You are a second year student, just like me. Thus, you should have no reason to worry. How about this? You stay here and study for a bit while I make some preparations. After that is finished, we can go for a walk around. How does this sound? What is it? There is no logical reason to keep working if you are simply going to continue worrying. Forcing yourself to focus in an unstable state will only deplete yourself more. I surmise that a quick walk around the dorm should refresh your mind. Additionally, I will gladly reiterate the unbirthday party preparations if that will grant you ease of mind. Wonderful, then. I will revisit you when everything is ready. I'm back. Are you ready? You want to stay here and keep working. Why is that? <sighs> it is my duty as house warden and as... <sighs> Your boyfriend to resolve any woes that you may have. Even if you believe it to be a bother. You deserve someone to listen to you. What is so funny? Patronizing me? I see how it is. Would you prefer if we went back to studying? I can easily tutor you all night if necessary. You don't have to let go your hands. They fit quite nice. Now, let's proceed. I first want to show you the rose maze. Considering how well the students have been taking care of the rose bushes as of late. Hmm. Both the white and the red roses are growing properly. Perfectly in time for our monthly unbirthday party. Wait. What do you think you're doing? Roll 228. You must not pick flowers from the garden on Wednesdays, even if you are a second year. I want nothing less than perfection from you, darling. No need to apologize. Your mind was simply in another place. Despite that, I expect you to remember that role in the coming days, or there will be consequences. <clears throat> there is no need for that. Well, I expect you as a second-year student to know and understand the importance of the Queen's rules. I also expect you to present yourself with the utmost confidence. As to honor the Queen of Hearts' strictness, I want you to improve upon your assertiveness that includes withholding your apologies. Do I make myself clear? Rather than just memorizing the rules... I also want you to enforce and uphold them with the same amount of a drear and devotion. Having a firm understanding of the Queen's rules is imperative to being a student of Hart's Labial. However, the ability to enforce and assert those rules are the foundation of this dorm. <laughs> Going through the rose maze. Not today. You know that would be an all-day event. However... I did want to observe the progress of the rose bushes while we were down here. I want to assure the third years planted a sufficient amount of red and white roses. <laughs> I'm proud that you noticed that contradiction. Yes, normally, according to the rules, the roses are only supposed to be red for unbirthday parties. However, since this is the first unbirthday party for our freshmen this year, I am considering them new acquaintances. Two hearts labial. Thus, we must honor rule number 469, which states that when inviting new acquaintances, you must have 
both red and white flowers. Are you paying attention? Must I repeat myself? I said I'm finished looking at the roses. Therefore, we are ready to start walking towards the tea garden. Is there a particular reason you wanted to take the long way back to the tea garden? It's all right. Calm down. We are certainly not lost. Come along. Getting flustered will not be no help to navigate anything properly. Just breathe for me, okay? The last thing you wanted to do in this type of situation is panic. Clouding your judgment will only feed into the vicious cycle of running around in circles. Use what you know, and you can build off of it. Hmm. I'm impressed to see Cater and his group already have everything prepared for tomorrow. Everything looks to be in its rightful place. Oh yes, the treats. Alongside the decorations, I asked Trey to prepare us a couple of samples for tomorrow. I thought that would be something you would enjoy while we review. That is not at all what I intended. If I only wanted to have Trey's treats before the unbirthday party, do you think I would have invited you to join me? It's true. I simply wanted to teach you the proper ways of serving tea and partaking in traditional practices that are used during the unbirthday parties. Come over here and sit down. Allow me to pull out your chair. <laughs> now, what is the first thing you should do when you sit down at the table before doing anything else? Correct. When you initially sit down, the first thing you need to do is put your napkin on your lap. Now that you're seated, I will pour you a cup of tea. How do you take your tea? With milk, lemon, sugar, or honey? Did you happen to notice that I picked up the saucer before pouring the tea? This action ensures that you won't stain the pristine white tablecloth with tea. Here you are. How is it? Do you enjoy the flavor? I specifically chose a tea that you would prefer. Your guess was correct. It is indeed rose tea. I procured and boiled the petals myself, with Trey's help, of course. Oh, the tea cakes. You will have your chance to try them. But before that, I would like you to practice pouring. I would be happy to guide you through it. I would like milk and honey, please. Thank you. Now you can help yourself to the tea cakes. I know Trey wanted to make several different samples. I wanted to request a tart as well, but I thought it would be more appropriate to save that for tomorrow. Having difficulties deciding, my personal favorite is the strawberry jam cakes with the vanilla icing. They are appearing to be plain or even simple, but I think that is what makes them so enjoyable. However, we also have a variety of spice cakes, such as cinnamon and chai. Do you enjoy the cake you chose? If it isn't your liking, then please do not hesitate to try another. Feed me? There's no need for that. I am c fully capable of feeding myself, love. <sighs> Fine then, but only one bite. Ah. Uh. Mm. Now, why would I need to feed you? You will have to come up with a better excuse than that, love. Stubborn? <laughs> Fine. I'll throw you a bone just this once. Now that I have refreshed your mind on the structure of an unbirthday party, 
How do you feel about tomorrow? That's wonderful to hear. If I recall correctly, you're on Trey's team, correct? Then I expect you to be in the Hearts Lab, your kitchen, after afternoon classes are done. But I might not remind you. I trust you will remember. <laughs> mm. I, I like to thank you as well. Today was refreshing compared to the antics that I typically have to deal with. You know, I'd be more than happy to give you on birthday party refreshers whenever you need it. However, regardless of how enjoyable our afternoon is, I have to resume and attend to my duties tomorrow. I understand your distress, but please bear in mind that we will get to spend most of our morning classes together and the party in the afternoon. But if you believe you have prepared appropriately for your test tomorrow, then feel free to join me on the rest of my walk through Hartslabial. <laughs>